dream that no one could save. A shelter, a whole act, a light that died with the night. You and I, we got our differences. Yet I thought we were more alike than unlike. Months of rain and chest pain. What's the plan? Heavy breathing, stay insane. Grab my hand. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel. I'm out this morning with Steve and for once I've headed east, come to a place called Pym Mill, not too far from Ipswich, which is a bit of an old sort of um, boat graveyard, really with a view to, to photograph these really old derelict boats. Um, fantastic place, it's a location which um, I've seen before certainly, and I know Steve has from one of Gary Goss videos. And the view this morning really is, is to try and capture some kind of almost fine art looking photos. Um, at the moment though it's not going to work so we've arrived looking at the weather and it looked like it was going to be really cloudy today which would be perfect for the sort of images we're expecting here sort of black and white sort of fine art long exposure that kind of stuff what we've actually got is big bright blue skies <laughs> so at the moment it's really not going to work but it's fine we've um, a good couple of hours till high tide which, which is really going to help the scene when it does arrive because it's just, going to met, uh, it's just going to clean up some of this uh, sort of messy kind of foreground. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to stick around here for a bit really and just see what happens. Uh, just had a bit of a flight around with a drone. Um, you may have seen some of the footage already, I'll put some more on now. But really it's just a nice, relaxed Sunday morning with a good friend, just capturing some images. Um, so yeah, let's see what happens with the weather. But it's a fantastic looking location. It's only a couple of hours from home, uh, so it's not too bad. But wow, what a what a place. Um, so, gonna stick it out for a bit. And uh, yeah, as I find some compositions, I'll talk you through them. Okay, so sorry about the lighting on this video. The sun's behind there, so getting a bit of a silhouette on myself. But it's really these sort of two, three um, ships or boats that we've come to photograph. So you've got this beautiful one here on the left-hand side with its mast still intact. Uh, and this one here is obviously, you know, they're both sort of leaning on opposite to each other. The idea would be really, um, to get quite handy with Photoshop and get rid of the background completely, have the water just completely surrounding the, the bottom of the boats here and going for a really simplistic fine art looking scene. Um, got a lovely bit of light on this foreground boat here just at the moment, but yeah, at the moment it's just far too messy to really work with. So going to have to stick it out, wait for the weather, wait for the tide and hope for the best. The water is coming in quite considerably, quite quickly. So. It won't be long until we can start taking photos, but we have still got, if I darken this down, really blue skies. So, yeah, a bit of a struggle, to be honest with you. Steve's just over there on that bush, trying to find some of a composition, but uh, yeah, just got to stick it out, really. Things are happening. The light has just drastically changed. It's almost getting like a, or the clouds come over, it's creating like a, sort of almost like a soft box. Um, shooting at about mm, 15 seconds at f10, um, focusing on the boat, Steve's doing something behind me, I know that much. <laughs> uh, yeah, as I say, 15 second exposure, ISO 100, f10, um, yeah, it's loads better now. Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, sorry, um, 15 second exposure, f10, uh, I've got a 10 stop filter on. Um, yeah, this could work out to be really nice. So just waiting out a little bit more for the, for the water to, to come in a bit. Um, as I say, going to have to do quite a lot with Photoshop on this uh, to remove some, some distractions, namely the uh, other side of the estuary and the, the bits of the boats and the, and the stuff that, which are just uh, a bit unsightly. So just to explain a little bit about, more about the composition I'm actually taking here. So it's really all about these two boats, as I explained earlier, and just making sure I've got a nice bit of separation between the two boats um, and just creating some separation between some of the things that I'm going to end up removing from Photoshop, like this, uh, this edge of the boat here and the little stick over there, just to make things a bit easier for me. But the other thing as well, 
and Steve just pointed this out to me as well, there's a boat race or a sailing race going over on over the other side of the estuary here. Um, they're going to be very fun to try and <laughs> remove in Photoshop because obviously they're moving around getting in the composition. So I think it's going to be a case really of getting as many shots as I can in the bag and just taking bits of those different shots just to make things easier for myself when I get into Photoshop. Just one other thing I forgot, and I've just mentioned this to Steve as well. What I want to do is, as soon as I grab this shot, as soon as the tires come in just a little bit further, I'm going to walk a bit further down away from the boats and take another image of just the estuary, just the water and the sky. And that's the image that I'll use as the background for the image to make things a lot simpler for myself when I come to Photoshop and actually trying to blend the two together. Because what, what I'm going to do is completely get rid of the other side of the, the estuary. Um, just have a really nice, clean, simple, fine art looking image. So I'm going to wait for, for a couple of minutes, tired to come in, grab this image, walk a bit further down. As I say, get that shot. And then when I get into Photoshop, I can bring those two together to get the image that I want. The tide is properly in now. Um, might have to start moving back in a minute, to be honest with you. So I've got this shot. I will put it on the screen now. I'm going to get another one over here and I'll just talk you through the composition. So as you can see, I'm pretty much standing in the sea now. Um, the tide's properly come in. So I framed up another shot here involving this boat down here on, as kind of the main foreground interest, which has got this uh, piece of wood which is kind of leading into this ship or boat in the middle, and then the one uh, that I was photographing earlier as well with the mast attached to it. It's a beautiful scene, it really works. It just kind of leads you through. I've gone for a portrait orientation, but I'm gonna go for a sort of, uh, a, I'm thinking a four by five crop. I don't like portrait images that are too, too long. Um, so I think this could work out to be really nice. Using uh, F, uh, F14, got my 10 stop filter on. I haven't used my phone as my um, remote shutter because I forgot to bring that with me. Uh, aiming for about a sort of 60 to 70 second uh, exposure. So yeah, just playing with different, different um, exposure times really. So this works out any good. Pop on the screen. Steve was just about to walk through my video. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'll pop it on the screen now anyway. Right, so still standing in the sea. A um, bit nervous because it looks like the water's about to breach the top of my uh, wellies here. Um, <laughs> framed up another image here with these, these boats kind of leading out. Particularly love this second one here. I'm not sure if you can see that on the camera. Um, got a lovely bit of lichen on it. Um, not going to say subscribe because that's reserved to, to Gavin Hardcastle. Um, but if you want to subscribe, yeah, please do. Um, yeah, quite a nice simple scene really, just leading off into the distance there. Um, again, we've got really blue skies now. So I think I'm gonna use one of the skies I took earlier to kind of put behind that and just kind of simplify the scene, possibly black and white again, or possibly color, not sure yet. Um, and then, yeah, I think that's pretty much it for the photos for the moment at least. I'm thinking of doing a pano at some point involving all of the boats that we took this morning. Um, we'll see. But yeah, what a fantastic morning. Absolutely loving it. I think Steve's filling his boots with shots as well. He's happy. With more than shots, I think. Yeah. <laughs> Water as well. <laughs> yeah, he's got, a, he's got a hole in his wellies. Um, <laughs> so yeah, what a fantastic, fantastic morning. So this one works out any good. I'll pop it on the screen. Uh, other than that, yeah, hope you're enjoying this.
So I just sent the drone up uh, to go and capture some more images, kind of looking down on the boats. Um, haven't got a, a sort of uh, dark enough filter, if you like, for the drone to get, capture any long exposure. Um, so I'm going to have to try and be quite creative in Photoshop with that and try and sort of add it in myself somehow. Um, but anyway, uh, should be some quite nice images. But the water has started to recede back into the sea um, quite quickly, to be honest with you. So I'm going to try and grab some more shots while we've still got a bit of water around the actual boats. So yeah, if we find any good compositions, I'll talk you through them. Okay, so I've pretty much taken the same image I took this morning, the first one with the main two boats here, um, just getting a bit lower. We do have a bit, a bit of a nicer light than this morning. This one I'm actually up for a colour, so we can do a bit of a comparison about the black and white I took this morning and the colour one I've just talking, hit, uh, taken here. So, yeah, I think that's pretty much it for, for this video. I hope you've enjoyed watching. Um, what a fantastic location. Um, if you do come here, one real good tip I'll give you is bring some decent well wellies, um, unlike Steve. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, the tide came in and came out so quickly. And one of the other things I'd say is um, just get here early. Get here a couple of hours before sunrise or get here a couple of hours before, um, before high tide. Just embrace location, just settle in, just, just try and find some good compositions. And that's exactly what we've done this morning and we've thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed it. Hopefully, we've got some fantastic images. I hope you've enjoyed watching. Um, if you have, please consider liking and subscribing. And also, go and check out Steve's channel. Uh, it makes some absolutely fantastic content. A fantastic photographer, fantastic videographer. Um, but what a fantastic day. Really, really enjoyed it. What a fantastic way to start the year. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. See you soon. An ocean, a cave A dream that no one could say A shelter, a whole act a light that die with the night You and I, we got our differences Yet I thought we were more alike than unlike Monster rain and chest pain This narrow